everybody, this is Sheets, and we're going to be doing our, uh, this is going to be a mid-slate update. We've, we're done with two fights, but I just got back, and I wanted to finally take a look at what we have, uh, what we're rooting for, what, how our quest for uniques kind of worked out, and how ownership projections kind of worked out. So we're waiting for the decision to come in on Bedoya Herbert, and uh, Bedoya was chalk. Chalk underdog number one, which is going down the drain, it looks like. Uh, it doesn't look like Herbert's going to score that much either. Uh, he did get the one knocked down, but that was all he did. Anyway, look at the ownerships here. So here are my ownerships uh, projections, and I'm rating them by um, biggest misses. So like here are my projections over here, and then here is what they were actually uh, drafted in the in the lottery. Okay, um, I presume. They're going to announce Herbert the winner in a second. Uh, I will just stick around for that. And there it is. All right. So the, the misses of note here are Chiesa. I mean, no one no one played him after all that. Um, they found other ways to get those fa fantasy points and only went in 25%. And Elvis Brenner at 19, I guess that was a pipe dream, thinking he was 19. But his, his, his metrics were really poor. So I don't know. Uh, they played 31% of him. Magum <laughs> Headoff, they've jammed 45% of him. Good luck, I guess. And there's Bedoya, who they played 10% more than I thought, and they just got punished for that. All right. Let's um, take a look and see what we did here. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull up the Sports Projections website, and hopefully it is working this time. It should be. And then we're going to be able to analyze who we have what you know kind of uniqueness we have sort of an idea of what to root for i suppose all right so let's pull up mma um we'll pull up our spread our uh whatchamacallit our entry file which i previously downloaded and then this put this in here okay so first thing i want to do is we're going to look at how our uniqueness worked out and I really didn't have much of a of a of a of a goal. I just want to do the best I can. Let's take a look. All right, not bad. Okay, so 150 entries, 43, 143 were under five dupes and 66 uniques. I I'm very excited about that actually, especially with an average salary of 49.4. Uh, I I really really like that. Let's compare to some of these other guys. I mean, for example, I mean who who did better than me? With respect to under fives, I mean, nobody, right? 66, 95% under five. I mean, these are some of the best players in the world with buffoon and shady advice. So we did very, very nicely up here um, to get unique. And I guess that's all that we really care too much about. Um, but just for fun, you want to see who we actually have here. And the, the thing is that we don't really know what's optimal yet. But uh, like, for example, Tululian scored 61 in the first fight. And as 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 at a um and lost, so what do you count that? Do you count that as optimal? Do you count it as in the ball game? Do you count it as whatever? I don't know. One thing I'm I'm pretty sure of is that, well, the Bedoya is not going to be in the winning lineup. Okay, let's see what what did Herbert end up getting? I mean, Herbert probably didn't end up getting too much, right? We could look at our at our handy dandy. Uh, score to, to see this, but it's, it it can't be much. We can't presume him being optimal right now. So let's let's take him out. Dumas even with like eighty five fantasy points. Let let's let's pull him out for now, and we'll leave possibilities of Tululian in. Okay, and let's just see how many lineups we have that I consider ourselves live. Okay, that the meaning live whatever, and there are just a ton, right? Over sixty. 64 of the 150 don't have uh, any of these three guys and are live. Um, I, and it's possible that Dumas or Herbert ends up being live, but right now we have to presume that they're not. Um, the next thing I guess we can do is take a look at, um, and we'll look after like another couple of fights and give an update, but for the next couple of things to root for, I suppose, um, what, let's see, what's the next fight on the board here? Hold on. Um, hang on. 
Because I think they may they may have changed the fight order. I don't think so, though. Let me just see real quick. Schedule and results. All right. Uh, and here. And okay. So this next fight looks like uh, Dudakova, Sam Hughes. So let's see how many of what I consider, I guess, optimal have Sam Hughes in them, for example. Okay. So we have about 14 Sam Hughes to root for. And that's not a lot. And how many Dudakovas to root for? Uh, more Dudakovas, so, but not many, like 21 Dudakovas, one Sam, 13 Sam Hughes, and if we want none of them, that's probably what we really want to be rooting for. So Dudakova, and we're still keeping, what's his name in here? Uh, Tululian, as, our poss as a possible. So let's just see. So, and so the fades are like 20, you know, looks like 27 fades, right? So like 27 fades, what did I say? 23, uh, 21 due to COVID and 11 of the, of, uh, of Sam Hughes. Uh, this is, again, we're only tracking the lottery here. Um, the, 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 the 555 is dead because it had, uh, what's his name? Uh, Bedoya. Um, I guess we'll try to update this in a few fights because it really hasn't taken shape yet because we really don't know whether we want to add Tolulian in this in this mix of who's optimal and we're not sure we want to take out Herbert or Dumas yet. So we'll, I'll come back after a couple of more uh, fights and update. 